Hi guys and welcome to your Twin Flame Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look and see what's coming up with regards to your Twin Flame connection. Um, this is going to be a general message guys because it's a general reading. Therefore, please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what's coming up around you and your Twin Flame. Hey, interesting. What do we have here for you guys? Some of you, I feel like, are wanting to fix something. You're trying to fix something. You're trying to repair. You're trying to work out something, okay? Uh, maybe you're trying to work, you know, build on this twin flame connection, build on... Um, just build on the feelings for one another. Um, some of you, I feel like maybe you're trying to build and develop plans for the future. Some of you, though, are trying to fix something that might have been broken between the two of you, okay? So repair or salvage something. It's like a fixing kind of energy. You're trying to make things right again, okay? You're trying to fix things between the two of you, okay? Fix what you said or what you did or what they said or what they did. The good news is there is opportunity for... Um, for whatever was broken to be repaired, to be mended, to be salvaged, okay? So if you're trying to work um, through this Twin Flame connection or you're trying to, you know, work out some sort of resolution or you're trying to work through um, some sort of conflict or just like this uncomfortable kind of energy between the two of you, the good news is there is potential to repair or salvage this connection, okay? There is potential to fix, okay, and repair what needs... Uh, what needs work here okay um i'm also seeing that there is there's also a, a, a need for someone here to consider their like a, another like their twin flames viewpoint okay so notice how there are two sides to a pentacle and you've got the pentacles have come up three out of six times within the spread so i the message that i keep getting is that um you guys maybe need to there needs to be more compromises or sacrifices made when it comes to this twin flame connection because sometimes you might without realizing it though it's not like you know you're doing it maliciously or you know there's intention there you might not hear what your twin flame has to say okay or you might not always understand where they're coming from or it could be your twin flame they might not always understand you know your point of view or what it is that you have to say your side of the story there are two sides to a pentacle okay so each coin has their own side and someone here i feel like needs to learn to compromise okay maybe the both of you need to learn to compromise a little bit more better or you need to sort of you know equally make the sacrifices because yes there's your viewpoint okay there are your feelings there's your story to consider but there's also your twin flame's point of view and their you know story to consider so whatever happened here and something that's happened here, whatever it is that you're working on here, guys, you're trying to fix, you know, whether it's trying to repair this connection or trying to, you know, salvage this connection, just trying to work through some difficulties or some struggles here. I feel like the reason why it happened in the first place is because there was some sort of miscommunication or misunderstanding of like each other or, you know, each other's viewpoint here. So going forward, if both like twin flames here would take into consideration each other's viewpoint, I feel like you'll be, you know, you'll get further along and it'll be um, a lot easier when it comes to trying to work through problems here. Okay. Um, you've got judgment and then you've got death here as well. Gosh, some of you, I feel like, oh, okay, this is, okay, this is big. Okay. I don't want to scare you. I don't want to panic anyone, but you know, there is some sort of, I feel like there's some sort of combination. Okay. Especially here with the eight of pentacles. Um, some of you, I feel like this is intense. Okay. Some of you, whatever it is that you're trying to fix, maybe that's sort of created this distance between the two of you. It's wedged this space or distance between one another. Right. Um, and I feel like with judgment here, because whenever it, ap it appears, there's either like a beginning or an ending around the seeker, the seeker being yourself here, right? So I feel like there's some of you, I feel like you could be reaching some sort of ending or a combination in your connection, okay? Um, it doesn't, 
I don't have that sense of finality as I would with the Ten of Swords, right? Because with death, I mean, where there is an ending, there's often a new beginning. So if something ends, I feel like it's because it's creating room in your life to begin in a new way, right? And notice how the sun breaks through here in the corner. So it's sort of, you know, it lifts, the sun here is rising, is lifting on a new day. So I feel like there's either a reason for you to end things. And it could be like, when I say end things, it could be, an emotional conflict here okay or it could be you know you guys need to end some sort of chapter or you need to end some sort of behavioral patterns or cyclic behavior in this connection but i feel like it, that whatever however this ending is being you know um translated to you i feel like the reason why it needs to end is because it needs something here wants to begin again okay so endings often usher new beginnings so something needs to end for it to begin again Okay, and that's that's very interesting though. It's a very interesting message. Because judgment, I feel like it indicates that you need to make a life-changing decision. Okay, some of you I feel like you keep making the same choices which kind of have you stuck and which kind of mean the same things keep happening between you and a twin flame. But I feel like with judgment here, you need to judge. You need to judge the situation carefully here is what I'm seeing, okay? Some of you, I feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening. You and your twin flame here are going through awakening. And you're realizing that the two of you are destined for so much more here. So some of you, this is like a cosmic leveling up is what I'm seeing. Some of you, you need to let go of your old self here, okay? You need to let go of self-limiting beliefs. So you need to let go of your old self here so that you can step into this new version of you, okay? And maybe that's what this new beginning is for some of you. For others of you, it's like a new version of the romantic connection, letting go of, you know, any past mistakes or any past, like, hurts, pains, so you can begin again. So you need to make some sort of life-changing decision here, okay? And some of you, I feel like maybe you're at a crossroads here, but if you tune into your higher self and if you trust that judgment, it won't steer you wrong. You've got the Page of Pentacles, which I feel like is a message, but this is a message from the universe, and I feel like the universe, honestly, with judgment here, the universe is calling you. And I feel like a lot of you, because you're undergoing that spiritual awakening, you're ready to respond to the universe's call, okay? So a lot of you within um, minutes, days or hours within this reading, you're going to get a lot of messages. Well, let me level with you here, okay? The thing is, you've been receiving a lot of messages, okay? Even prior to you listening to this reading, the universe has been trying to signal or communicate to you for quite some time now. Some of you have not been open enough to receive these messages. That, that, that was the problem, okay? Some of you have been a little bit closed off and not receptive enough to hearing these messages. But I feel like some of you, I feel like, are coming into this higher power, coming into your higher self, and you're that much more aware and that much more, you know, receptive. So some of you, I feel like there is going to be some very powerful messages which sort of signal to you, um, which signal to you what you should do next, okay? And where you should go from here and, you know, what you should work on and what you should just release and let go, okay? So it's going to be some very powerful messages that I feel like will hint you and guide you in the direction that you need to go in, okay? Because um, like I said, you've got death, which is, I'm seeing you're coming up as a new version of yourself or your relationship is coming up as a new version, okay? Because something needs to be let go of. You need to stop making the same mistakes, okay? You need to stop making the same decisions. You need to let go of your old self so your new self can be born here. And with the Five of Pentacles here in reverse, okay. It's great that it's come up in reverse because in reverse, it's like positive changes, okay? It's it's recovery in reverse. It's positivity. It's forgiveness. It's a feeling of, you know, being welcomed. Um, it's recovery from loss. Did I say that? I think I said that. Um, so a lot of you, I feel like you're... You're going to get to the stage where I'm seeing that there is forgiveness, okay? So you're going to either be forgiving yourself, forgiving each other here, um, and it's recovery from loss. So whatever it is that you thought you lost or whatever it is that you thought was broken can be fixed, can be recovered, guys. Um, I'm also seeing like overcoming any adversity. So if you've been going through something, some of you, I feel like, as I've mentioned, you're leveling up and you're going to have, you're going to start making decisions, which will be that much more powerful and influential here over your relationship here. So... For a lot of you, I do feel like, you know, th this is a, I mean, this is positive changes and all in the right direction here. It can suggest, and it does suggest to me that you 
and your twin flame here will be improving things, whether individually or whether together here. It's steady progress is what it is, especially in trying to rekindle your relationship with one another or opening yourself up a little bit more to one another here. Um, it's telling me that, yeah, you know, some of you have been going through a period of rejection, isolation or despair. And that, my dears, is coming to an end, okay? And that's really lovely. So what was broken can be fixed. What was lost can be recovered. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.